fall, FCPS is introducing a new elementary progress report that is based on curriculum standards. Joining me now is Judy Hurd, Manager of Integrated Curriculum Projects and Instructional Services to tell us more about it. Welcome, Judy. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. We're glad to have you here, too, because this is a real shift in uh, from what elementary school parents have gotten used to. Uh, to where we're going, but I know that you have run out some pilots mm -hmm. uh, in several schools, and so you have a lot of really good information to share. So, right. uh, first of all, tell us why the change. Well, it is it is a huge shift. It's a culture change not only for parents but for teachers and for students as well. And the change actually started. Actually, it began about six years ago when. Uh, responses to a survey done within the school system by for teachers um, that asked them what were they doing that was taking away time from instruction and the number one issue was bubbling and what that means is teachers bubble progress report grades up until this year it's very time consuming and um, it really did take a lot of time away from instruction they had to do it you know during off hours and so they said that they would like another way so that's when we started looking at it. At the same time, the progress report we're currently using has been in place for over 30 years. So it's wow. really time for a change. That, that's right. like when I was in elementary school. Yeah. Well, we have some teachers who had, who were educated in Fairfax, who had the same progress report that they are now giving students. So very it's time good. for a change. So tell us what um, the new change is. What will parents see on the report cards? The change is they will see instead of a single grade for a subject, they will see the subjects, all subjects that a student learns broken down into a series of standards. And the number of standards depends on the subject. So mm -hmm. for instance, there are six standards for math and language arts, four for science and social studies, three for some of the other areas like um, um, music or art mm -hmm. and then um, those standards are graded and uh, as well as they'll see grades for um, life work and citizenship skills that are aligned to our school board goals mm -hmm. they'll see effort grades and instead of students getting the traditional ABCDU or OGSN as they get now in the primary grades they'll be graded on a 4321 and those grades now no longer represent the same things as ABCDU or OGSN. They represent how well a student is mastering that content that they're being graded on. So give us an example. Uh, so for example, in math, what would be a standard under math in first or second grade? A standard under math, and I, I don't have the exact wording, but mm -hmm. something like computes with um, accuracy and fluency. So a student's okay. able to compute with mm -hmm. numbers, whether they be fractions, decimals, whole numbers. And that's separate from measurement mm -hmm. or geometry or other areas of the curriculum. And not all standards will be graded every quarter. Okay. Depends on what the teachers teach and what the pacing guide outlines um, in terms of what the teacher is supposed to be teaching. Okay, so what does that tell parents? What, what, what will parents learn from this new report card? That's a great question. The parents will get more information to begin with. They'll be able to look at a progress report and know if their child has strengths within a subject mm -hmm. and needs within a subject. So they might uh, be able to look at it and, f and see that their child is doing very well in computation or number concepts, but maybe needs a little bit of help in um, measurement or in geometry or some of the other areas of mathematics, mm -hmm. for example. Same with all the other uh, different subjects the student learns. And we're rolling this out to all of our elementary schools this Next fall? Next year, yes. This we've, coming September? We've been using it in 10 field test schools. Um, this was the first year that we've used it. We've used it um, and it was pretty successful. The mm -hmm. teachers liked it, the students liked it, and uh, by all accounts, the parents liked it too. Excellent. So. Well, that's great. Now, where can parents go and find out more information about this? We have more information on the public website if they go to FCPSEDU and click on the little parent um, tab at the top along that maroon bar, mm -hmm. and then scroll down um, to elementary progress reports. Um, they can find a lot of information. There. Great, and I'm sure there's gonna, this is going to be a big topic at back to school nights for at elementary schools. Yes, we think so. Back to school nights, parent-teacher conferences, and we also have a lot of meetings, PTA meetings in the fall, where principals will be sharing this with parents at those meetings. Good. Yeah. Thank you, Judy, for joining us. Thank you.